Hey everybody, Adrian here with the Northwoods Family Channel. Thanks for coming back. Had some questions about what this contraption is. We showed it in our wood burning fireplace video and thought I'd take you guys on a short tour of our solar kiln. So we built this a few years ago. We got the plans online. I'll see if I can find the plans again and put them in the description below. But um, it will hold about a thousand board feet of lumber or a couple cords of firewood. We originally put it together to be able to dry our own slab lumber for making tables and stuff like that. We did that a couple times, but then uh, lately, mostly we've been using it for uh, drying firewood. And in, oh geez, I mean in the summer months, I can take totally green, wet wood, um, fairly dense hardwood, and have it dried in about a month, maybe six weeks. Totally ready to burn. So really nice for that. Um, <clears throat> give you a look here basically how it works light comes through this clear roof here the inside is painted black we got a black tarp there I'll show you the inside in a minute and it heats up and then we've got some solar power fans that circulate the air so it's constantly moving warm dry air throughout and drying off the wood whatever wood you have in there I'll show you right now I've got my weather meter here and I'll show you it's about about 66 degrees, a little less, it's about 65. I've been holding this in my hand, so about 65 degrees today. It's nice and sunny, it's a light breeze. Here's the front side of it. You've got the two doors that open up, and then we've got some vents to control the airflow. So the top vents is where the air comes in, and then the bottom vents is where the air comes out. And depending on the conditions, how humid it is, how hot it is, things like that, we'll open those up or close them up. Depending how much of the warm heat, we want to retain. So let me open these puppies up. Show you what the inside looks like. Ooh, that one's a little stuck and I've only got one hand, so we're just gonna leave it for now. <clears throat> I'm gonna set this kestrel down here, right there where the wood is. We'll let that warm up for a minute. So again, you can see the way it works on the inside. Air comes in through those top vents. All right, there's one right there. It gets sucked in through the solar powered fan and it gets blown onto the other side of this tarp. We just have this tarp clipped up here to act as a baffle. So then what happens is the air gets pushed down. You can see on the back side here, there we go. Air gets pushed down that way. It's quite a bit warmer in here. And then the air is forced through the wood coming back toward the camera this way and goes flows in between all that wood and dries it out some of the air then gets recirculated it just gets sucked up top so you don't lose all the heat some of it flows out the bottom so uh what do we have in here now we have some pine from a while ago this stuff is probably ready to go i've got some hardwoods that i put in over there um, I don't have it set up totally right. There's a pretty, pretty good gap there. So I should plug that to kind of force more air through the wood. <clears throat> but you get the idea. So we've got some firewood coming, some firewood going. So let's take a look here. And just set this here for a few seconds. 80 degrees inside. So right now it's over 15 degrees. It's still heating up and that's just in the shade. I just stuck that on top of the wood there. We stick it back here for a minute we're gonna see our temperatures gonna rise even more and more yeah up to over 82 it's usually about 20 degrees warmer in here than it is the outside ambient air temperature so even in the winter time when it gets cold if we've got good sun we can dry wood in here pretty good so it's really helpful for years like this, where we're behind on our firewood production and I'm scrambling a little bit, trying to cut anything that's dead, dry and standing that we can. But um, sometimes if we run into some stuff that's a little damper than we expected, I can throw it in here for a couple weeks and it, uh, it dries out pretty good. So um, ideal place to put this, of course, is where it receives full sunlight. We actually used to have it in a little different place in our lawn, but we wanted to free up some lawn space. So we moved it here. It doesn't get sunlight in the last part of the day because that tree will block it. So it's not even as efficient as it could be. 
we really should go stick it out in the middle of our lawn. But like I said, we used to have it over there in the kids play by the kids playground. We wanted to free up a little bit of lawn space. So anyways, that's our, uh, our solar kiln. I definitely want to get back to cutting some slabs with the chainsaw mill. Maybe I'll do some of that this winter um, and dry some more slabs in it again. But for now, it's just drying firewood. So if you guys have any questions, just uh, pop them in the comments below. Like I said, I'll put the plans up there for it. I don't know, it took us a couple weeks to build it, you know, after work and stuff like that. And back at the time, I don't know, maybe about $1,200 worth of materials. I'm sure it would be more expensive now just because of lumber prices, but that is the solar kiln.